Hello guys, and welcome to a new episode. Uh, so, I had a couple of issues on my last video. They were all like, oh, well, what's all this different stuff? So here I am back to explain it. So to open up Google, we just type in MCP. Now, that's not what we want. We want the Wikipedia. MCP is an abbreviation, and this is not the MCP we want. Raffle. We want Minecraft MCP. Minecraft Coder Pack, that's what it stands for. Someone asked, well, what is MCP? It's Minecraft Coder Pack. Minecraft Coder Pack is a collection of scripts and tools to help develop, uh, help developers create mods for both Minecraft server and client. For That means it can be either used in single player or SMP. And you get your description, we create a package that can help you decompile, change, and recompile Minecraft classes that should help mod, mod creators to get started. Instructions included in the readme tags, yada yada yada. So pretty much what it is, is when you get MCP, it downloads to a dot .zip and you, uh, you, uh, clean, you get that out, you unzip the file, this is just cleaning up, you want to do this, it will automatically come cleaned up, I've just been working on different crap, you might have seen it on the, nope, not the Internet Explorer, the desktop like that dragon, not an actual dragon, don't expect one, I've just been messing around with some different stuff, and, uh, moon, haha, <laughs> thinking about working on a new world type deal, like the nether, no, not chemist studio. Uh, so then once it's there, you have your jar, that usually doesn't have anything in it, never has those once it's first time in, I'm, I put up my hand to cover those up, and I'm like, oh, wait, they can't see this. So what you want to do, if you get the newest version of mine, uh, you need to get the newest version. Okay, so we'll go to the releases page, where they have all their downloads. Uh, ooh, I've yet to get this one, I don't have version 2.8. I don't know what 2.8 is. Version 2.8 and above contain reification tools that allow. No, 2.2, I'm sorry, I completely just read that. There we go. Added MCP mod system alpha SDK and support. Oh, well, I don't need that. They just added support for a uh, different one. I would download the newest version, anyways, if I was you. It's 2.8. I'm using 2.7 because it still works. See, uh, 2.5 was for al was the last version of alpha, and then they didn't get it updated to the newest to uh, the latest version of beta, and that's the version you want. Uh, that it was also supported for this, uh, and that's the one you want. So and then you'll drop in your newest beta stuff. It is uh, just a clean bin and a clean resources, no mods attached. The resources file. So when you do the test game, it's, it looks better. You can actually hear everything. Now, what you want, there'll be nothing in your sources, so after those are in, you'll want to run the decompile.bat, and it will, so you have a running version 2.7, it will decompile, what decompile, deobification, uh, let me explain that, that is pretty much when, um, let me just go through right there, you go into your bin, and you normally add files by right clicking it, and opening it with WinRAR, uh, now, if it opens, I may be lagging down my computer greatly. Uh, I probably could have avoided this by just opening up my documents. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so these A's, A's, and E's, all these files right here, these are all doc classes. Now, once this, this deobification is, t is taking them from a doc class and turning them into dot javas. These are all dot javas. List, no, not list, details. A java file. Now, dot java is pretty much all they are. Oh, get back to what I was doing. Now, uh, in my Minecraft modding, uh, let's go into the uh, hand shovel. We go into this, into the thing that we released, and it's got this eo dot class, f g dot class, ez dot class, one of those is items dot java, and it's transformed into that with a different name and everything, and the deobification uh, pulls it down into uh, dot javas where you can just go item and change what's in there, and add new items, because in there it would take forever to figure it out, there are different places that tell you the name, you can find it on google. But this just makes it easier and will automatically decompile and recompile for you because before it can be recompiled, it has to be decompiled so that way you can make a Java and then recompile it. 
into actual because Minecraft only reads from dot classes, it doesn't read from dot Java, so you have to have it de recompiled. And once it's recompiled, it will work with the game, and then you have to reobuscate re it so that way Minecraft reads it, which is what that bat files for. I'll test server that would test the ser server mods. Okay, so let's get started. Aha! <laughs> There's a little backstory to everything. Now, the mod I'm wanting to work on is a new weapon mod. So I'm going to go to MCP, go into its temp because I've decompiled. It now has the GUI and this. And I'm going to open it with paint.net. See, it's its items file. It has no mods added, as you can see. Now this is not making mods compatible with mod loader. I may make a tutorial for that later as I'm still learning that as I cannot get my MCP to decompile mod loader files. Okay, so the mod I'm learning is pretty much not a battle axe, but a, it's like a battle pickaxe type deal. And it's going to take two different forms. I'm going to take those two. And then I'm going to create a new after you do control C and then I'll control V it and then I'll take my zoomer and I'll zoom in now I mean d there's different ways you could do this you could go okay I'm just gonna take that mm, sorry and so the square one is harder to work with you always want to use this so you can pretty much outline what you want oh that's some very strange lag there I could just move that, put that right there, and give it some weird form of attack. See, that just looks weird. And since that's there, I could go boom, boom. Oop. Sorry. Take that, and through that there, and then say... Dang it. Arg. Uh, view. Arg. No. It's a window. Tools. And I could put that there and make it look some sort of weird form type deal. That does look very weird. It's an axe head with a back pickaxe. I would have could have done to make that easier because you always want the easiest thing so that way it looks good. I could have just went. Boom. Exact thing that I did up there, but it looks better and it was faster and easier. You always want to look for shortcuts like that. Now, what I don't know is what I want this to look like. Hmm. May want to give it some sort of two edge type deal. I mean, heck, with MCP, you can pretty much make anything you want. Okay, well, let's. I mean, that's what I want to do, but s since I have no design for it, we'll just completely. Ooh, that looks like a really cool scepter. Heck, you can make a scepter type deal that you beat people with, like a rod. I mean, that. We'll do the rod. The rod mod. Boom. The. That'll be the bottom part of the rod. The rood. Boom, look at there. We are already have something to go by. So now to make the clean this up to make it look better. See they always have these dark spots, that means they're the outer ends of them. We'll just completely die that entire bit of it.
I want to nice in the middle part showing what what is being made from or you could go in and make take that middle part and add it right there where it's a type of boom this is, I mean that that right there looks cool to me at least so then I want to take this and I just want to clean this up down here where all this looks nice and neat and then I'm going to take that and apply that right there oh, I don't like that that looks much better okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take that right there just going to copy that and then we're going to go new okay and then we're going to paste that in there and we're going to zoom into it and boom it's our rod now now, now you have to do the iron one. You always got to keep it iron. I mean, well, I mean, you don't have to keep it iron. You always have to go on to the next one. So what we'll do is we'll just copy that, and then we'll... Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, stone. Or, heck, we could go over here, and we could zoom in a bit more, and find a more darkish color. That's actually the color I grabbed. Awesome. Uh, so down there, copy, new, paste, zoom in, stone rod, wood rod. We're working on the rod. Always a different form of the ways you can go with any type of mod that you create. A little bit more. Okay, so you gotta be sure, like, I wouldn't want to grab that part because that part is too stonish, so I would want to just grab the white. And then I would want to take my pencil. Copy. New. Okay. Paste. Zoom, 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 zoom. Boom. Now I want to take our diamond. Boop. The diamond will be the best. I'll grab one too. I was thinking, hmm, where is that gray again? Copy, new, okay, paste, zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, take our yellow, go to this one, click a pencil, boom, 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 boom. Boom. Copy. New. Okay. Paste. Zoom. De doom. De doom. De doom. Doom. I don't want to exit that because I'm done with that. I've made my new ones. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to zoom out. Now since it's me, I have mods lined up all through here, so I don't want to take their spots. As I've already put in their spot, I don't want to lose it. So I'll put it 